Добро пожаловать, YouTube. One Russian left here. I'm extremely excited about this video today because the Vanguard Car 98 class I'm gonna show you is the reason why I came back to Warzone after quitting for the last like five or six months. And yes, I'll tell you the attachments to the MP40 I'm using as well. And I'll tell you how to level up both of these guns as quickly as possible. I'm also gonna show you a new movement technique, which I call sprint canceling, not slide canceling, but sprint canceling, which is very important if you want to use this particular Vanguard Car 98 to its max potential. And I'll break it down over a couple clips. Here are my best attachments. Please take a screenshot now, but also pay attention because unless you use these attachments and alter your movement the way I tell you to, you're not gonna be liking this gun as much as you were like in the Modern Warfare car. But if you listen, you'll actually like it more. By the way, thank you very much for subscribing and turning those bell notifications on. And I'll remember each and every single one of you because every time somebody subscribes, you get the little notification. So before we get into explaining what the attachments actually do and how you can tweak this particular build to your liking, let's talk about the new movement technique that I like to call sprint canceling. It's exactly as it sounds. Basically, Activision has messed around with the way sprint to fire affects your ADS time and ADS animation. As you can see from the four clips below, it's exactly the same build, by the way, but you can can see how much faster my ADS speed is when I'm standing still and going into an ADS animation versus if I'm going from attack sprint into that same ADS animation. So the question that I had when I saw this and I noticed this happening with my particular build is how do I go from attack sprint into an ADS animation that's just as fast as the one you see on the left? And that's how I developed sprint canceling. Basically, there's a couple ways for you to cancel your sprint right before you ADS. And of course, by doing so, I'll make my ADS animation a couple times faster. The two most effective ways to sprint cancel are one, to complete a slide right before you ADS or for you to slide cancel and then jump immediately after. So in other words, you do slide, slide, jump, jump right before you ADS around a corner or whatever. And yes, this technique applies to mouse and keyboard players and controller players alike. Let me give you a couple examples for comparison. Let's imagine there's an enemy around this corner. If I simply tack sprint and then ADS, I will most likely die because the ADS animation takes Forever. If I tack sprint and then simply jump, it's still not much better. However, if I slide and then ADS, or if I slide cancel jump and then ADS, you can now see that my aim down side speed has increased tremendously, which will help me a lot in that engagement. And that is how you sprint cancel. And by the way, if you look at the clips below, I played two games with this loadout. In both games, I dropped 50 kills a piece. In the first game, I was a little bit rusty and you can see that I get into these tough situations where I'm almost dead because I wasn't able to ADS fast enough. Whereas towards the end of the gameplay, I become a lot more comfortable with sprint canceling and you can see that my clips actually look a lot better. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Listen to this hot mic. Your mom's sexy. <laughs> Anyways, I know some of you in the comments will say, Russian, instead of using your sprint canceling technique, why don't you just put sprint to fire attachments on the gun to make it faster? No, I spent countless hours tweaking this build and I'm telling you, putting other attachments which make the sprint to fire speed faster will make this gun worse because you'll be letting go of splinch resistance, bullet velocity, etc. Which will literally make this gun completely unusable, like every other Vanguard sniper rifle. So instead, just get used to sprint canceling and use this build. It's much better. Trust me. So now let's get into the attachments and what they actually do for this particular build. So for maximizing the ADS speed, I'm using the 3.5x scope. Pretty overpowered because one, it gives you basically instant aim down sight speed. It gives you no glint. It has amazing visibility. And even though it's a 3.5x, 3.5x scope, this is the only one that you can actually hold your breath with to make longer range shots quite easy. The short stock also gives you a boost to your ADS speed and in general your sprint to fire speed, movement speed, etc. The leather grip is quite important as well because it gives you a bonus to your ADS speed as well as aiming stability. To maximize both flinch resistance and aiming stability or the amount of idle sway I have when ADSing, I'm using the FA stabilizer, the heavy foregrip, and the leather grip. The 660 barrel, very important. Don't use any other barrel, I'm telling you. With this barrel equipped, as you can see in the clips below, people can be shooting you right in the face, it doesn't matter. You will land that shot. And even more importantly, the barrel has no downsides when it comes to bullet velocity, damage range, kill zone on your enemies, and of course, ADS speed. And again, because I'm using a 3.5 rifle scope, which I can hold my breath with, deep breath, and the quick scope to make, again, my accuracy slash aiming stability better right when I ADS. For bullet velocity and just a little bit of extra range to help you avoid those hit markers, I'm using that same F8 stabilizer. It gives you a little bit of damage range. And the ammo type that I'm using is lengthened, which gives you a little bit of extra bullet velocity. When it comes to the magazine slot, please don't listen to anybody that tells you to use the three round mag that gives you a little bit of extra ADS speed. It is completely not worth it. Not only do you reload faster by using the five round speed mag, those additional two bullets that you receive in your magazine 
are way more important than the minuscule, barely even noticeable EDS boost that the three round mag gives you. So before we get into leveling up these guns as quickly as humanly possible, let's talk about my secondary, the MP40. As promised, please take a screenshot now. Any combination of attachments works as long as you have the last barrel equipped, which gives you a boost to the fire rate of this gun, and you don't have a sight equipped. Because ironically, having a sight on this gun gives you worse visual recoil. In other words, the gun becomes less accurate if you're using a sight than if you are using the iron sights. For comparison purposes, I played two games, as you can see from the clips below. In the first game, I was using a sight on the MP40, and in the second game, I was just using the iron sights. These are the perks that I'm using, amped being most important because it helps me switch my guns faster. I'm using thorough knives as my lethal to finish kills faster and lastly i'm using stims to give me a little bit of a boost to my movement speed and also help me survive gas for longer this brings me to my last point how do you level these guns up as quickly as possible if you're like me i hate grinding guns with a burning passion however this loadout was so good that it even made plunder fun as you can see from the clips below i dropped 50 kills in the first game 50 kills in the second and i did it all at the airfield the airfield is now basically the new storage town that's where everybody goes to level up their guns peak is not the way to go because peak takes you a very long time to get back to and once a bunch of the people have wiped each other not too many people are there towards the end of the game with the airfield there's always somebody around for you to get a little bit of xp from to make sure that you keep respawning at airfield go into the game as solo don't fill your party because if you have a teammate and both of you die you will spawn in a random area of the map but if you're a solo you will keep spawning in the same spot on the map over and over and over again of course don't forget any of your double xp boosters that you may still have that you haven't used yet load it into a game of plunder as a solo with these two guns, go to the airfield and you'll have them leveled up in just a couple games. And lastly, check out the rest of this 51 kill gameplay, paying attention to how I use both of these guns to their strengths and especially how I employ the sprint canceling technique we walk through to optimize my car 98 gameplay. By the way, this is my favorite song from MW2 that you hear playing right now and I think it has the best drop of all time. Check this out and I'll see you in one minute. Thank you so much for subscribing and turning the bell notifications on liking the video commenting your thoughts i will see you guys during my next video or during my next stream thank you for watching russian out